Sexual and reproductive health experts have taxed the federal government to do more in providing family planning information and services to Nigerians across the country. This was the sixth Nigeria family planning pre-conference media chat in Abuja, where they revealed that the effect of the COVID-19 pandemic on health systems worldwide has also affected efforts aimed at providing family planning services to those in need. They say Nigeria continues to be a demographic time bomb, experiencing a geometric rise in population growth since independence, a situation that is a cause for concern. Some of them urged the media to task a government to work towards a meeting on met family planning needs nationwide. If we do not build resilience in 2020, our children, our grandchildren will not forgive us. If we do not adapt to the current situation, if we do not use the opportunity of every technology, of every other factor to innovate, and if we do not build resilience, we will be wasting our time even for family planning and for all other health and social development indices. Family planning is very, very important. With COVID-19, where most people during the lockdown were at home with minimum access to healthcare services or facilities, having more people on a method that they can you know, apply on their own, they can provide by themselves, like a self-care method, is very critical. Recently, we found out um, the Gates Foundation, a few day, years ago, um, brought out a research they had done in Nigeria to show that the major, major cause of um, barrier to access to family planning was actually made some misconceptions. When they, when they x-rayed that report, um, it came not so much as a surprise, but at least to say, at least now we're knowing why women are not going for family planning. Some of them, because of religious bias, people so, uh, should I say, cease of this court, disinforming women that if you take family planning, um, you will never have a baby again when you stop. So those are some of the things that have caused barriers. The pandemic or future pandemic or future disruptions should not hinder a person's ability to access family planning. There are innovative ways for us to continue to serve humanity and ensure that we reduce our met needs and increase access to family planning information and services in our community. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.